Samarkand Landfill was developed in two phases. Phase 1 development of Samarkand Landfill began in 1995. To create the landfill space required, a 7-kilometer perimeter bund was constructed to enclose 350 hectares of sea space between two islands, Pulau Samarkand and Pulau Saking. The bund was lined with impermeable membrane and a layer of marine clay to ensure that leachate from the waste is contained within the landfill area. Under Phase 1, internal sand buns were constructed to divide 55% of the enclosed sea space into 11 landfill cells. Other ancillary facilities, such as a wharf, transfer building, generator building and workshop, were also built on the enlarged Pulau Saking to ensure self-sustainability of the landfill's operations. Concurrently, construction of Tuas Marine Transfer Station, supply of tugs and barges progressed smoothly on schedule. After four years, at a total cost of 610 million Singapore dollars, the Phase 1 of Samarkand Landfill started operation on 1st of April 1999. At the Tuas Marine Transfer Station, vehicles discharge wastes directly into barges. When a barge is filled, the hatch covers are closed and the barge is pushed by tugboat on a 33.3-kilometer journey to Samarkand Landfill. Upon arrival, the barges are berthed within the transfer building. Hatch covers open for waste unloading by specially designed excavators. At the Phase 1 landfill cells, wastes are discharged from the trucks and then leveled and compacted by bulldozers and compactors.